What's up, everybody? <laughs> um, so there's this rocket project that, what did we decide it was like five years ago almost, or four years so, yeah. ago almost that we started? I get asked about it a whole lot. Um, it's the uh, Lock Precision Saturn V that we started as a father-son build, and as you can see, I'm currently in Idaho, but I don't live here anymore. So someone was like, you should keep making it a father-son project. I was like, well, I mean, that's kind of the idea, but <laughs> there's like 800 mile gap between us now. But anyway, um, my dad has been kind of secretly working on it in the background, so I thought I'd let you guys take a look at it. So here it is. This feels like that video we did at the Johnson Space Center where I was like, we built a full-scale Saturn V. Yeah. But this is actually one. No, it's not full-scale, but you know. Anyway, this, uh, for those who aren't in the know, Lock Precision made a seven and a half inch Saturn V kit in 2019 for the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. And I'm a sucker for cool stuff, so I bought one. Um, and how long did it say in the box? Do you remember? Probably two years? Or, yeah. Before we actually built it? Yeah, I think so. And then, uh, so we did all the main construction, and then I remember I did these because yep. I had to, like, cut the slots for the fins to go around. And then after that, it came time to sand and fill. So then I decided that I was done with it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, it looks really, really good. All the black is vinyl that was included in the kit, all the lettering and everything. So you do you just paint it white? Oh, and you did the silver. Yeah, and the silver, yeah. But every, all the other stuff's just decals, right? Yep. Here you want to showcase it. Show them the, uh, the motor mount choice that I made. I don't remember why I made that choice, but it is like the best combo for seven and a half. But for this particular, oop, this particular rocket, doing the 75 and 438s is interesting. Um, I do remember we spaced them though. That was good foresight so that the closures will be the same distance because the 75 closure is a little bit taller than the 38th one, 38 ones by like a 16th or an eighth of an inch. Right. So we offset the 38th so that all the closures will uh, line up. But you can see all these and all the adapter, like the transition fairings are fiberglass, which is presumably why Lock Precision doesn't want to make any more of them. They've said repeatedly that they won't do it. So I'm sure they're gonna love when I post this video and a bunch of people suddenly become interested in having one. But, sorry guys, I love you over there. Anyway, so, oh, you wanna show them the electronics bay? So, obviously a short tube for the 75. Um, there is enough room in here for a 5120 case or four grain 75M, should we decide to get reckless with it. Did it come like, oh yeah, because it's got the stiffy tube in there, right? right? Yeah, this is how they design the electronics bays now, which is nice, because you don't need the full unlimited space of the seven and a half inch coupler, but yeah, up in here. M1297. Up yeah, it comes up to about here, I think. So. It's too bad there's no shorter moon burner than the M650. A four grain moon burner would be sweet in this thing. Right. Like standard dual deploy setup, but you know, that's the nose cone effectively. It's got the removable. Oh yeah, Hulk for plate. nose weight. Yeah, which it's for sure going to need. Yeah. So, um, that's cool. It's, pr I mean, it's pretty light. I don't think it probably weighs more than like eight pounds. Yeah, I think that's what I weighed it in like 8.3 or something Yeah, like that. that's pretty good for how big it is. Yeah. It looks, looks really, really cool. Uh, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. You're gonna do the multiple parachute? Jeffrey? No, that's too much money. <laughs> yeah, when these came out, Rocketman was selling shoots that looked like the the actual Apollo recovery shoots, and they were selling them in sets of three, which doesn't really make sense because like they didn't recover the whole Saturn V with those shoots. But I, I appreciate what they were trying to do anyway. Um, but yeah, for the price. No, is my answer. <laughs> yeah, it looks really, really cool. Were these fins beveled or did you do that? I did that. I was wondering about that. I didn't remember them being like that. Yeah, I hope you wanted them beveled. So. Yeah, it looks good. How'd you do that? Dremel. Dremel yeah. and then finished it hand by hand. <laughs> That's crazy. That's how Matt did his mini mag fins. Yeah. You should have had Brock. Some people are like 3D printing like a box with the right angle and then just gluing sandpaper in there and going up and down the fin. Oh, really? It's kind of nice. I want to try it. I wonder if you could get it to work with fiberglass. Because if I can find an easy way to bevel fins with fiberglass, then it's lights out. Right. 
I know Doug's about to comment on this video about the uh, router table that he bought me that's still sitting in the box because I'm afraid of it. I read a terrible story about somebody using a router that they got their finger in it and it not only ripped their finger off obviously but it grabbed the artery and like pulled it out of their oh arm and wrapped it around the router bit that's and I'm like funny. since then I'm not particularly interested in playing <laughs> with routers but I have big fins coming so should be doing that as well not I don't have them coming I have to cut them out of plywood but that's terrifying. yeah but yeah here you go the lock precision Saturn 5 it's so cool. I don't know if there's like people who are good reference for height, but what is this like seven feet yeah, maybe? It's about seven. Yeah. Dad's what six four? Yeah. Okay. So it's pretty sweet. I'm pretty excited about it. So you know, throw in the comments, tell us what motor combos you want to see it fly on. Um they flew one on an L one thousand at LDRS thirty eight and it was fine. But like there's a lot of power potential in there. I guess we could do like banana plugs and do air starts if we wanted. Oh yeah. We would have to figure out a way to route wires down by the motor tubes, but we could do it. Just run them on the outside of the Saturn V. Right. That seems relatively applicable. Just get white E match wires. Um, but I mean mostly it's gonna just have to be ground clusters. Plus in my head it's like they should all be white lightning motors. Right. Just I That'd mean be nice. This, I mean, the Saturn V wasn't even solid propellant, but I think that will look the most scale correct, which is a problem I run into with all of my scale rockets, where I'm like, ah, it needs to look right, like my Patriot <laughs> that I'm going to build. Um, but anyway, I just thought you guys might like to check out the old Lock Precision Saturn V, and I'll get some more close-up pan shots of it and stuff and run them here at the end of the video. And uh, yeah, you can check it out. Also, yes, it flies with the tower on it. No, no... I hate that when people like especially Mercury <laughs> Redstones they fly in without the tower because they're afraid they'll break off Just accept that it's gonna break off. It's like building a mosquito, right? You think the fins are gonna stay on when it lands? No, but you just live with that You fix them. Anyway, awesome. lock precision Saturn 5. There it is. It's pretty sick Now we just got to fly it. K560 seems so obvious mm. Or an L850 even but that that's starting to get to the point where I'm a little bit afraid I mean, those fins, those fins are probably not going to be prone to flutter. It's going to need a ton of nose weight, but I don't think it'll come apart on an LA-50 unless we put, like, some J350s with it or something, right. which is dumb because they could fit. I think they're pretty stout, though. There's a lot of epoxy down there. Well, if we did, a like, an adapter in the middle, we do, uh, I don't know. J350s is probably a little aggressive but I don't want to do like real low impulse stuff, but like three grain maybe. No, that's the I-180. That doesn't seem spicy enough even with four of them. I guess it's pretty light, but do that in like a K-185 in the middle. So as the outboards burn out, we get the long burn from the K. Right. Who knows? Anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of the rocket and what we should fly it on. And... Just a fun, quick little update for you. A proper rocket vlog. There you go. Oh yeah, go to the new fourth wall link for the new merch and listen to the Anti-Gravity Group podcast. We need more listeners over there, but we dropped some new merch, it's pretty cool. Did you see the Nigel hoodie? I want it, the, the Aunt Debbie was wearing one, the giant graphic, I love it. But uh, yeah, new merch people, and when you order the merch with this new one, you get it, which is a pretty cool feature compared to the last people we were using. So uh, check it out, thanks for watching, peace.